So we'll start here. You hear the squeaky floors below me. This is the formal room. Now it's got a lot of original furniture still here. Um, you see the radiator heaters, they still work. This house is still in the old Buller system. And one unique feature I want to show you, other than this amazing fireplaces, is the windows. I don't know if you can tell, they're actually curved on the turret. It's hard to tell. I'll get you a side angle here, but you can kind of see they are curved. Extremely rare to see something like this. But this is a magnificent 6,800 square foot Victorian mansion. And I want to show you guys around. Straight ahead is the billiards room. I love this room. It is so cool. All the woodwork here is original. Now there was a business in here at one point. And there's a couple walls that's been added. Check out this old pool table. The bay window. It's just so awesome. Then we move on. We got these beautiful built-in cabinets. Look how tall the doors are. I'd say they're about nine foot high, maybe. Pretty tall. Then here is the main foyer. And as you see, as we come and turn, you got a staircase that is graced with beautiful stained glass windows. It is gorgeous, guys. So gorgeous. We're about to go upstairs and check that out. But yeah, let me give you a closer look. I want to show you all this place before I went lights out. Man, look at these windows. Original to the house. So we're gonna make our way up the stairs. Give you all a closer look here. Sorry, I'm a little too close. Check it out. That's some detail work. All these columns. I love these lamps. There's on the staircases here. I'm going to come up to the second floor landing. Beautiful radiator heater. Check out the woodwork on these banisters. This is, I believe they call the upstairs parlor. There's, the claims are in this room here from the outside. A lot of times they see Mr. Fields walking around up here. Looking out the windows on people. So he just stands in this front part here and peers out over people walking by. Got another beautiful stained glass window here. And like I said, in the daylight, You'll be able to see these a lot better. And again, because these old radiator heaters. And the glass is curved up here too. It's crazy. So now that we're on the third floor, we look at this creepy light fixture. It was believed that this area up here was the nursery. And that is strange. I really don't know why that's spinning. Nobody's been up here. <laughs> I was up here hours ago. That is creepy. Now I will admit, this room just has a heaviness to it. I don't know what went on here. 
But as I was saying before I was distracted by the fan, is that this area up here is believed to have been like the nursery. There's a couple bedrooms, few bedrooms up here now. But um, there's a lot of sounds of children's laughter and giggling, and you hear people you know, running through the hallways and stuff out here. You see, there's already kind of this narrow, odd feeling up here. This is a room here where a lot of activity has been reported. Of people seeing small shadow figures and hearing children laughter and these floors are solid but they still kind of creep me out this room is awesome like let's look at these windows over here the old furniture and then over here I make my way around this is the third level of the turret. These windows are not curved, but they hold a much creepier vibe, if you ask me. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, it's so beautiful in this place. Okay, guys, so. I think I'm gonna go back downstairs to the first floor and start there and work my way back up and do our investigating. Uh, I think I'll start with the front room, move to the billiard room and make my way up to finally up here because I get the heaviest feeling up here on this third floor. I don't know if it's the floors are a little more off, you know, uneven and uh, the way the vaulted ceilings are, the way it's kind of claustrophobic up here or if there's really something up here. But I want to start downstairs and work my way up. And we're going to investigate this place thoroughly, guys. I've got my equipment, so let's do it. Okay, guys. I got the echo box set up here. Hello? For anyone that's here with me, I've got this device here with the blue light on it. You can use it to communicate with me. If you understand me, please. Hello. Can you tell me your name? Did you just? I just heard Tim. Tim, is that you? Timothy Fields, are you here? Sorry, guys. Timothy, you built a beautiful home. Are you okay with me being here? I heard a whisper of no. Oh, that was clear. No. Timothy, are you happy that your home's being preserved? I just heard something moving here. I left the light on. Did I leave the light on in your room? really thought I'd turn this light out. I know I did, I turned all the lights out. Did you hear that? Timothy, did you turn this light on? I heard a female say yes. I'm gonna turn it back off. See if we can get it to turn back on. Okay. Now, there's just a lamp on over there. Did someone turn that lamp on, or the light on in the billiard room? I heard yep. 
Can the one that turned the light on tell me your name? Guys, if you can understand what that said, please comment down below and let me know. Okay, I just set a K2 meter right here, EMF detector. So for you that is here with me and you're playing with this blue light device, if you see the device next to it with a green light, you can also touch that green light and it'll let me know you're here. I hear a female voice. Can you tell me your name? I don't think I mentioned this already, but my name is John. Wow. How many of you are here? Three. I heard three. Can you each tell me your names one at a time? I got three different voices, a female and two male, different distinctive male voices. The third one, I could clearly hear Tim. The first two were hard to understand. So if you could tell, please let me know. Who turned that light on in the billiards room? I heard Tim come through twice. Tim, did you do that? Timothy? Let me know. It looked like something moved in there. Tim? I heard I heard the name Tim. Mr. Fields, is that you? That was pretty clear. Can you tell me what year it is? Twenty. I heard twenty come through. So he was here in nineteen twenty, that's for sure. I think I need to move to the billiards room. I keep hearing stuff back there. Let's move over there. All right, guys, I've made my way to the billiards room. I'm gonna turn this lamp off over here first so we don't have this extra light. I can figure out how to do it. Okay. All right, so some further reports we get in here is they hear the balls clicking together and the smell of cigar smoke. So I got my digital recorder, we're gonna try that out. I'm gonna go ahead and start recording and I'm gonna lay it down right here on the table. And I'm gonna do an EVP and I'll share with you in real time what we capture on it. Okay, someone turned the light on in this room here. Can you please tell me your name? 
I've laid a device here next to the cue ball on the pool table for you to speak into and it'll allow me to hear what you have to say. I've also put a device on the mantle of the fireplace with a green light. You can touch that green light to communicate and you can speak into the device on the pool table. Timothy Fields, are you here with me? Can you make this light turn on again for me? Hello? There's someone in here with me? It sounds like someone's walking around in here with me. Can you make another sound for me? Who was that I was hearing out in the foyer? Okay, two meters off. It's got a brand new battery in it. Okay. Yeah, battery's fully charged. happened when I wasn't in here. Timothy, did you do that? Did you turn off my device up here on the mantle? Can you turn it off again for me?
Okay guys, so this has been pretty interesting so far. I've gotten lots of crazy interaction. I've gotten some footsteps, which really kind of blows my mind. Um, the echo box gave some feedback. It's hard for me to understand some of it. But guys, if you, if you caught anything in there I didn't, please comment down below and let me know. I hope I got some stuff on the digital recorder. Um, the K2 meter even turned off on me, so it's definitely some compelling stuff. I think it's time to move upstairs. I've been down here quite a while, so I'll go on to the second floor to that formal uh, little room up in the front and see what we can get there. Okay, guys. I went ahead and put the laser grid up here. Of course, down here I got the echo box I'm about to start up. And you can't tell, but one of those green lights over there is the K2. So I'm gonna set you guys down here where I won't be moving the camera any. Of course, we're in the second floor. To the left side over here is the turret area. So I'm gonna start the echo box. That was quick. Okay, so is there anyone up here with me? Hello? Can you tell me your name? Did you live here? Can you tell me your name? Was this your home? Yes, I heard a yes come through. How old are you? That sound like 40 to me, guys. Let me know what you think. Who's the president of your time? I got what I thought was a Roosevelt and then followed by Kennedy. It was tough. It was tough to distinguish. Hello. Can you tell me your name? Is Timothy Fields up here with me? Oh, that whisper. Right behind you? Another hour has went by because the clock is going off again. It's went off like four times now.
are you okay with me being here right now? I heard multiple yeses. You have a beautiful home. That's where I thought a thank you come through. How long did it take you to build this house, Timothy? I heard two years. Did you say two years? Yep. It's a long time. A lot of hard work went into this home. Do you mind me asking how much did it cost? A lot. That was the first response that came through was a lot. Guys, I was fixing to go up to the third floor and I finished up in here, in this room. And the freaking light's on downstairs. Hello? Is there anyone down here? What the hell was that? Something just freaking ran up here. Hello? Is there anyone in here with me? I come from downstairs. Something just banged. There's gotta be somebody in here. I sound like a door just slammed. Hello? Is there anyone in here? All oh, the freaking lights are on. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting nervous. I think someone might actually be in here with me. Dude, I did not turn any of these lights on. Make sure all the doors are locked. Okay, that one's locked. You can see there. There's a few doors down here. Yeah, that one, I can tell from here it's locked. There's no doors in here. Who's in here? I hear you. Somebody's freaking in this house, guys. And this door, I can tell, it latches from the inside. Clock just jingled. Guys, I'm really nervous. There's no one in here. I just looked everywhere. All the freaking doors are locked. And all the freaking lights are on. I can't explain. I don't even know. Yeah, I'm gonna take a second and just kind of gather myself and really search the house over. Okay guys, so I've double checked, triple checked, 
No one is in this house. Um, the only thing I contribute to is, is paranormal activity in here. These lights turning on and off. Well, they're turning on. I'm turning them off. Um, I can't explain it. Um, something is definitely going on here. Something's messing around. It's like mischievous. Uh, nothing seems harmful, but it's definitely a lot of activity in this house. Um, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and turn these lights off down here and see if we can get any more activity with the lights while we're down here. It seems to always happen when I walk away. It's like it's toying with me going back and forth. Now, I heard some voices. I heard some female voices distinctly in here, and I hope the camera picked it up. But uh, this place has not disappointed, guys. And we're going to continue investigation on. It is getting late, but I'm here all night. So so let's, let's keep this moving here. And uh, if I can get my camera to work here, I'm going to go ahead and turn this light off. Now, wait a minute. Now wait a minute. Now wait a minute. I did not. Okay, they're still on. I'm gonna turn the billiards light off again. All these lights turned on. This is crazy. here in the middle part and I won't bring my recorder which I got in my pocket here turn it back on get a good perspective of both all the areas here okay got this in my hand Okay, I notice you like to play with the lights. Can you turn a light on or off for me? Or on, rather. Hello? There's so much movement, but nothing's moving. Can you turn the light on for me? I'm holding a device in my hand you can speak into. I'd love to hear your story. Other hours went by. Okay, guys, it's it's getting late. Really late in the morning. It's almost four. I am going to go lay down. Um, I haven't even got a chance to really investigate the third floor because so much has happened on this first floor. This fourth floor has been so active, and you know I got some activity upstairs in like the parlor room. But down here is really the lights turning on sporadically and all the movement down here. I really thought someone was in the house with me. It really freaked me out. Like I even went as far as to grab my protection and, and go through the whole house, every nook and cranny and just make sure no one was here. Um, but no one's here. No one's in this house but me. And it's really spooky. Um, 
it's some of the most activity I've ever had, like concentrated before. So I'm gonna go lay down and take my camera with me. And if anything happens, I'll try my best to document it for the rest of the night. But uh, if not, I'll see you in the morning. Guys, I just got up, I'm in bed here. I don't know what time it is, but I've been waking by something moving around. Is anyone here? on so there it goes again I don't know can you make that sound for me one more time guys I'll show you This house is not disappointed. It, it's just been nonstop. Now I did, it did kind of die down, so I went to bed, but I've been here and I've woke up twice now and this is the second time. And it's just, you hear I'm out here in the hallway and it's not doing it. So as soon as I go back in there, I'll start doing it again. I just want to kind of document this for you guys. This house is, is crazy. And I'm gonna say it's it's really hard to sleep by yourself in here, um, but uh, but yeah. Unless anything else crazy happens, I'll see you in the morning. Uh, guys, good morning. I've survived the night here at this house, and I gotta tell you, it's one of the most active places I've ever been to. Um, you hear the heat blowing right now. It's it's cold in here. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, this place is wild, um, but all kinds of experiences. I can't wait to get home and review a lot of the evidence. Of course, you've already seen that at this point, but guys, I really appreciate it. I'm excited to be back in action. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just fun. Um, but anyways, guys, if you are new to this channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button, staying in the loop. I got plenty of more spooky videos, cryptid videos, UFO videos, all this stuff's gonna happen. And if you really like this channel, you're already subscribed and you want more, and you wanna support this channel. Additionally, I do have a membership side. You can hit the join button. I do put bonus content over there, and I have a Patreon where I put bonus content as well. Both of those help support this channel. They help fuel the adventure. But with that being said, guys, stay spooky, my friends.